All right, y'all, welcome to the next episode of the Dirt Series Detailing in Real Time, where I take you through various steps of these uh, detailing, paint corrections, and ceramic coatings, so you can see exactly uh, what goes on and how long some of these steps take. I do it in real time, unedited, and uncut. Hopefully, I don't press any buttons. Uh, I'm Gabe, that's camera on my head, that's a microphone, audio quality is okay on this thing. I probably just need to speak up a little bit. Uh, today we are going to do some actual detailing. So what we're going to do is clean up some spots. This car is polished, it is ready to do the final wipe so I can do the coating. But one of the issues I had when I was washing this car, I washed it outside, just outside that door. Uh, Mother Nature decided she wanted to help me detail this car which means it was raining but there was also a chance of hail so I had to get the paint clean stripped down and ready to come inside in a hurry it's one of those hey man uh, the meters running you're you're on the clock now let's let's go so uh, if y'all can see this here we're going to dig into some uh, uh, detailing small stuff. I'm using CarPro Eraser to hopefully eat into some of these surfaces, uh, some of the dirt on some of these surfaces, uh, because this is the the gunky buildup. So first thing first, we are going to take care of that. Can y'all see that? Am I pointing the camera in the right direction? All right, whatever. So easiest way, take a brush or uh, some kind of detailing brush or some kind of uh, q-tip and all we're going to do is just wipe into this as far as we can go and bam look at that look at that look at that so this is black plastic I'm not terribly worried about going over this again with a with a towel. It will dry. It will be fine. Hopefully, I'm pointing the camera in the right direction. And then the other, because this is a track-oriented car, there's all kinds of sections of this car that are like this. So I'm gonna try to just walk y'all through some of the things that I do here on a daily basis. So can y'all see this little window channel here? Yep. It's called detailing, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, people, whoever you are. It is called detailing. What can I tell y'all about detailing? Uh, don't suck. Just don't suck just make your adjustments so it's it's not all ever going to go freaking perfectly so you're going to have to adjust to various issues that you come across while you are detailing a car it's not rocket science i guarantee you that but you need to be able to make that adjustment so none of this stuff got done while I was washing the car because we had the chance for hail. Ooh. Hang on a second. I may have missed a spot. Unacceptable. Yep, I sure did, man. So I'm just letting the alcohol in this Car Pro eraser uh, just kind of do the work. and whenever I go back so I, I'm not necessarily worried about wiping this down like I said uh, a little a little bit ago uh, I am going to I will move this around whenever I start doing the final wipe down uh, before I get this car ceramic coated so hopefully y'all are seeing this in the camera because again this is a camera attached to my freaking head and I don't necessarily know what y'all are seeing at the moment. I'm just hoping I pointed the damn thing in the correct direction. So, got another 
q-tip we're going to follow this edge again here this is a track car the customer does not necessarily wash it very often uh, which is fine it is his car uh, all I can do is just shame him until the end of time about not washing his car but you know if he listens he listens if he doesn't he doesn't that's fine too so those channels are done uh, I need to do everything I can about these sections right here I don't know if y'all can see that necessarily there's quite a bit of uh, built up dirt so uh, stuff that is really genuinely hard to dig into so I want to get this uh, taken care of as best that I can so spray this uh, car pro eraser on there you let it sit for just a second kind of let it do a job and now this one's on paint so we will dig into this uh these creases it's a place that i don't necessarily uh, i can't necessarily polish without disassembling uh a bunch of parts i don't want to do that for a one step correction uh, you know just a, a basic polishing coat uh, but i will try to get as much of this out as i can without further messing up the paint so we're just going to make a pass at this try to get all of this up I don't know if y'all can really see much of that but it's just a matter of digging into that corner or into that crease and doing a little bit of scrubbing again it's a place that I can't polish or at least if uh, if you can polish let's let's get another q-tippy boy I didn't like that noise luckily it's just plastic on paint instead of metal on paint so we're good to go there Let's see just how we did wipe this up with a microfiber today we are using what I believe is a rag company Eagle edgeless uh, 500 GSM microfiber really nice microfibers by the way so you can see it kind of it, it picked up a good bit of that maybe I need to uh, that's not terrible on the other side well right here right here is not great I know y'all this is the most exciting stuff ever I'm watching somebody uh, dig into some of these really really small details on a car I don't like that noise whenever it breaks through it hurts my heart Alright, so that right there is a lot better, uh, yeah, that's that's a freaking ton better. Maybe I can get a little bit more of that out, but I need some more Q-tips because I keep punching through these guys. Not, again, not necessarily abnormal. Welcome to the uh, dirty corner of the shop. I have cookies. So if y'all been following along with this car, this is a uh, 80,000 mile Mustang GT. The car has not necessarily led a easy life. It sees a good bit of track time. Uh, that's what the owner chooses to do with his Mustang. That is his prerogative. I'm just here to try to get it as clean as I can and get it polished up. So you notice that the front end is it's pretty beat up. Uh, the front bumper is really, really bad on this car. Uh, but that's when you when you have a car that sees 
really any kind of track time on a somewhat regular basis front ends are going to be pretty beat up I mean front ends are beat up as it is just from driving around Houston and having to deal with uh, you know people but uh, people that go to track days just see it on a on a different level so we're getting another another q-tip here uh, prepped so we'll start digging into the crease here this one doesn't look like it's pulling up quite as much I can see some of it but that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to work So I have other chemicals and cleaners that I can try. I could try just straight alcohol. I don't want to do that. Uh, oops. My bad. I could try uh, like an all-purpose cleaner, which I may do here just to see if that works any better. Just to see if we're cleaning up these spots a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to have to go over and wipe the entire car down with this alcohol wipe before I coat it anyways. So it really doesn't make that big of a difference to me either way. But it looks like we have done pretty good here. So let's grab oh, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted at 10 to 1 and take it back over to just this top section of this particular uh, hood vent and see if we can make this go away any better now I'm using a fairly soft and nice microfiber with car pro eraser I would rather that keep uh, the car pro eraser in it so I can set that up here so it is a note to me and I will grab another one out of the towel cabinet for the all-purpose cleaner welcome to the shit show it's just what goes through my head so just try to clean up the rest of this and see if the all-purpose cleaner did any better Uh, this is a very alkaline uh, cleaner. I think the pH level on this one is about a 12 or a 13. So it is, it will eat into some of these, uh, some of this staining or some of this buildup. And then we can wipe this out. So you got to remember, uh, I know there's going to be people that will say, I don't understand, uh, it's it's just a car, it's going to have dirt, it's going to have this. Said, Look man, I don't get uh, hired for these jobs, I, I don't get picked for these jobs because I just intentionally let stuff go. Do I miss things? Of course I do. Does everybody miss things? Of course they do. But if you can take you know 20 minutes and go over some of these surfaces and send your customer home with a to have a better experience with their car why wouldn't you do that it is not that big of a deal so the other section that I need to work on is right in here can you all see that Stuff is falling out of the bottom of this mirror. That's the, 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 that's concerning. <laughs> so all I did was spray the towel with APC to get in there as far as I can. Well, I guess I can move this out of the way and not be a freaking idiot about it. 
it's my first day y'all be gentle so you can see that this is vastly improved and we will march over to the other side break through to the other side welcome to the other whatever whatever that song is and do the exact same thing on this side a little bit of APC and the towel and we're digging into this corner so like I was saying if if you think this is too much you're right this level of detail is just not for you but uh, I, I built my own reputation on being this guy and going through all of these steps and processes now I have to learn when this is good when this is bad when I have time to do this when cars are fighting back I have to uh, as a business owner I have to learn how to not give away the store basically the detailers dilemma is when do you stop detailing uh, you know you can take I can go a million miles further with this car but is it is it worth it is a customer paying for that uh, are you gonna spend a bunch of time and create a bunch of more work for yourself those are all questions that I have to ask and answer before I start these processes but for little things like this you just take care of it and everything will be okay so that's it y'all just a little bit of the uh, killing myself with that stool right there just a little bit of the extra detailing steps that I go through uh, to me that is what detailing is the rest of it is kind of washing and polishing and all that stuff that's that's all well and good uh, but digging into surfaces and crevices and things like that and figuring out how to remove that dirt and build up that is my version of detailing uh, so that's it y'all make sure you do the like and subscribe thing I will see y'all on the next video. Check it out.